Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot here with another quick tip about logging in and getting subscription info in iFlight EFB. So, first off, we'll want to make sure we're connected to the internet. That way we can access our servers, get logged in, and also um, check uh, if our subscription has auto renewal slash when it expires. Um, and that's also what we'll be going over today in this video. So, first off, we're connected to our Wi-Fi. I just verified that. And then we'll go to Menu. And if you see this register slash login button, that means you are not logged in. Um, you can also reach the place I'm about to show by going to menu, about, and then my account. It'll give you the same login pop-up because this is what you need to do. Um, so we'll go and log in with my email and my password. might take a second here. And so once we're logged in, and also going through that uh, one button I first showed, that will bring you to this page as well. So it should say your device is registered to your email, and that'll say you're registered to your subscription. So um, you can see which subscription is applied. So for me, I have base plus IFR and multi, and those all expire in 245 days. And you can also see the registered devices to your account. And what's very important is on this page, occasionally you might have a red pop-up. And it'll say something like, um, just a warning about your account, maybe your expiration date is coming up, or um, you have too many devices that uh, aren't allowed on your account. So um, you can fix that. And one way to deregister a device, let's say you had an extra, is down at this deregister a device button. And so it'll show you this device, and let's just say there's another, so I can click here and click deregister. So now that other device has been deregistered for my subscription. So um, another thing to go about on this page uh, that there's a lot of discrepancy on is the activation code. Now this is for um, someone who has bought a subscription card and would like to add that. And we sell the subscription cards usually at our in-person shows like Oshkosh or Sun and Fun. Um, so that's where you'd find this. Um, otherwise, if you don't have one, you don't need to be worrying about it. So now we just verified my subscription's good, I'm registered, so now I'd be able to update just as normal and use iFly as normal. We can also check if we go to our website, iFlyEFB.com, we can check our auto renewal. And this is kind of important that we don't accidentally get charged, which we will help with if you do, but just to be able to verify things on your own. So we go to our website here, you see the home page, and we can go over to the account tab. It might take a little to load here because of my Wi-Fi. Okay, now once we're loaded, we'll get some information. Yet again, we'll get our subscription information. Um, I'm on a different account, so this is different than what I saw in iFly. But uh, here's the important thing, view slash edit recurring subscriptions. This will show us where auto renewal is. And because I don't have auto renewal enabled, there's nothing here. But if you do, you'll see the card, at least the last four digits of it, um, that it will charge, as well as um, the auto renewal and when it will charge you for the auto renewal. So that's just an important thing to look out there for. But otherwise, that's all you need to do to get set up for your subscription in iFly. If you have more questions, you can feel free to email us at support at adventurepilot.com or call us at 214-585-0444. Thanks. Bye.